Hello and welcome back. This is Mark Schmidt for Sec Governance. This is the next video series in uh, Microsoft Labs. This video is all going to be about configuring Active Directory for the computer permissions for um, Microsoft Labs. So at, by default, Microsoft Labs has allows everyone within Active Directory to read and view all the permissions and stuff for passwords. What we're going to do here is actually go through and just make sure it's all secure down or locked down a little bit more. To do this, you'll have to be a domain admin, but what we're going to do uh, to start off with is first off, make sure that all your computers are in an organizational unit or you know which organizational unit it is in. If you don't know what uh, know you is, it is pretty much one of these where you go down, have a look in Active Directory using computers, go down and have a look through all this. In our um, lab here, we just got the computers OU, which is the default one with one Windows 10 uh, computer in it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open up PowerShell and then we're just going to import the module ADM PWD again. That was installed when you actually installed the laps initially. So if you get no error messages, that'll be fine. The next thing you need to do is actually identify the OU distinguished name that you're going to be doing. If you don't know how to do that, what you can actually do is click on the view menu, make sure advanced features is enabled and then just right click in the OU of choice, go down to properties, have a look in the attribute editor, and then look for distributed uh, distinguished name. And in there you can see it says CN computers DC test lab DC local. So what I'm going to do there is just copy that. And then what we're going to do here is just say set ADM PWD computer self permission. And then I identify and then the OU name. Oh. And do that. What this is going to do is actually just grant the self account, which is a built in account permissions to actually get to this OU. And as you can see there, it says it's delegated against that distinguished name for the OU computers. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do then is actually go and set it all for users uh, accounts or permissions. So what we're going to do here, <coughs> excuse me, is go in and then just do set ADM PWD read password permission and again just identify oh, if I can actually spell identify put the OU name in again and then say allowed principles and then with the um, user of the group name which goes here you can actually put in the group or just basic users so for instance if you just want to a help desk users or something like that in if you've got a help group help desk group you can just put the help desk group in i'm just going to say everyone for the moment and do that and as you can see there it actually says computers again delegated and this will be for everyone's group okay right and then next we just need to do uh, for the reset time side of things so again we're just going to do all this again so we're going to say set adm pwd adm PWD, oh, I can't spell it here. Reset password permission. Identify. Put the distinguished name of the OU in again. Allowed principles, and then just say everyone for me. Again, it depends upon the group that you've got. <clears throat> and then what you can do now is just view the user permissions, make sure it's all fine, set up right, and stuff like that. So we can just say, Find ADM PWD extended rights, identify, put the OU in. If I just missed me paste up, so I'll just copy that. Do that. And as you can see there, the OU is the computers within the test lab DC of the local, and everyone has, well, system has access. The domain admins has access and everyone has access for that okay and then again you can just run the same thing if if in the future you go and add more users or new groups you can just go in and redo this change the group to something else and go like that and that will be it so i hope you've enjoyed this video series and um, if there's anything else you'd like to see on this feel free to comment down below on the video i'd appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to our channel We'll be pushing more videos out like this in the future um, across various topics just to make sure you keep your, your businesses safe. 
Uh, what I might do is expand on the Microsoft Apps video series a little bit more, use a bit more about um, PowerShell and other things, and just to see how we actually use it in a day-in-day-out environment. Right, hope you enjoy this video. Bye.